So it's Thursday, 20th of February, 2020. I just showed up at Cascade Reservoir for our third or fourth annual trip with my buddies. And hopefully we'll get on the lake shortly and get into some jumbos. Beautiful day, it looks like a beautiful week this week. Clear skies till Sunday. I've got some Lindy darters that I brought this year. They're little minnow imitations. These are eighth ounce. And uh, we're gonna tie one of them on as my, my primary lure this trip. And uh, we'll see how they go. I own dozens and dozens of these darters and I've caught a few walleye with them, but I've never really had faith in them. Um, Jason Mitchell put out a video last couple weeks ago and that's what he primarily used was a one similar to that. Um, it wasn't a Lindy lure that he was using, but had a little yellow on the belly. So that's what my primary lure is going to be is Lindy Darter, eighth ounce, in some perch colors. So we'll go from there. Cascade 2020, here we come. So we are out here in about 19 feet of water. We're decided that we want to be near the river channel in about 30. So we've got to go way far south to do that. The lake is down about 10 feet this year. So my buddies are regretting bringing four wheelers, which I'm loving because <laughs> I was regretting bringing my sled. So hopefully it works out. So Ryan got me a little perch. So we're going to use one of his eyes and we're gonna see how compounded interest works on the lake see if we can turn that one eye into a, a bunch of eyes so we found a spot finally we've searched all day and we finally got into a decent sized fish just got the jigger trotter set up oh man they're pigs <laughs> another cascade lake Jumbo, we're on the spot, buddy. Good deal. That was number number two. Like I said, we've been driving around all day. Must have fished about ten different spots, and uh, we're in the we're in the jailhouse now. Oh yeah, another nice one, Ryan. Right on bottom. Yeah, on the jigger trotter. I'm hanging it about, oh, two feet up, and they're coming to it. Nice. So, catching them on a nice orange jig I've got. We'll just get him back in the water. That's what we're doing right there. Nothing, nothing too fancy. So there's my buddy Ryan. We are just getting ready to wrap it up tonight. We're gonna leave the tents in the honey hole. Yeah. Everything performed pretty well today. I think so. I lost my seat to my sled, but my buddy Skyler found it. So that's a good thing. So over and out. See you tomorrow. So it is uh, Friday the 21st, getting ready to go out again. Lake Cascade. Um, got our tent set up on the lake. We're gonna go see if we can find the pigs again. So, gotta put some oil in the machines and check our fluids, make sure we've got lunch ready, and we'll get on the road. Got one on the Lindy Darter. Let's see here how it goes. Doesn't feel very huge. Nope, it's just a medium. So, that's probably 11 inch perch. So, Rock on. Finally got broke the ice today. So been fighting my buddy heater this morning. Laid my propane tank sideways and got a bunch of liquid in my hose. So we're off to the races now. That's a good one. That's a good one on the Lindy Darter. He chased me up about six feet. Oh yeah. That's another pig, Ryan. Alright. Ryan's not too happy with me because he hasn't caught one of these guys yet. He's an expert on the dinks today. 
So, sweet! <laughs> oh boy. Thank you, Jason Mitchell, for giving me the idea of these darters. Did you get one? Yeah, buddy. Good boy. Still got any fish down there? I don't know. He's got some funky thing going on his side there. That's a good fish. Yeah, not bad. Come on, guys. There we go. That's why we come to Cascade, boys and girls. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. Got him on the Lindy Darter with a perch eye on the front, but he took the back hook. Interesting. Nice two pound. I'd say that's close to 16, but probably 15 inch Cascade perch. So that last bad boy we measured out at 15 inches and 1.9 on the scale. So we'll take it. It's not the two pounder I'm looking for, but it's mighty close, mighty close. Ryan's got a fish on. Good job, Ryan. Oh, nice. Big old pup. Oh, yeah. What did he hit? Uh, one of your tiny leads in a plastic. Uh, there, what color? White. 25. 25. Yep. Right there, green head and the glow body. Oh, green head, glow body. Okay. Caught him on a jigger shotter? Nice. Lindy darter. Jigger trotter. What color darter? Perch. Perch colored? Perch color green belly. Green belly. Good job. So I'm going to do a little gizmo here. I've, I've kept having my holes freeze up. I got some ping pong balls that I painted black years ago. I'll throw them in my hole and they'll absorb some sunlight. And I'll quit cussing. So, here we go. What do you think, Ryan? Oh, he wanted to go back. See ya, dude. <laughs> he went back. Where'd you catch him? In the mouth. <laughs> so that's what we're using. Big old perch eye on the front side of a Lindy darter. 23 feet of water. Drop it down 18 inches off the bottom and just kind of twitch it. Once you see fish coming in, you raise them up, try to get them as high as you can, slowly, slowly, raising it above their heads, and pretty quick you'll hear a thump, you'll feel it. Raise that rod tip, and sometimes you have to run away from the hole to keep the line tight. Stay above them all the time, in my opinion. Sometimes when they start to turn down, raise up your rod tip a foot. Here we go. There's my boy Matt. He's got his new uh, bay runner. That's a sweet sled. That's the spot. Rock and roll. Ryan got him one. Show us up close what that lure is, Ryan. It's one we made last year. So it's a diamond lure from Do It Molds. We made those last year. 
And Ryan's Knocking been doing them good. Down. Good deal. What are you tipping it with? Mealy. Mealy, okay. There you go. Not bad. I just told Ryan I could use a fish about now. Just another dink. Oh, no, so I guess Ryan's getting cold, so we're gonna call it a day today. Gonna set up our tents, leave them out tonight, and uh, hit it in the morning. So it's Saturday, February 22nd. Um, you know, hit Cascade here again. We get, just got to our tents, getting things dialed in. Got a jigger trotter to my left and a jigging rod to my right. And um, when I was getting the finder set up, I had a couple chasers, so that's good, good sign. So my fish finder's lit up. And you think I can catch a fish? Ryan, I don't know if I've ever seen this fish finder lit up with perch like this. Oh man. There we go, finally got one. Finally got one, little dinks. Oh man, that's too bad. Oh well. Dude, got the smell. Got the smelly skunk off. Oh good. You don't know how good that makes me feel. That I got a fish? Yeah. I know, it was getting pretty rough there. Ryan was catching all the fish. All right, all right. Now let's get one on the jigger trotter. On Come on guys. There we go. Got yeah, one? a little dink though. You can almost call that a double. Well, that ain't it, but we're taking it. I just changed to a purple jig head on that, baby. I think I'm into the dinks all day here. You gotta be. Hey, we're making a children's television show over here. My goodness. I'm sorry, the pool. Just popped off my lure and went down the hole. The spool? The spool popped off one of my inline reels. Oh my. And went down the hole. They know that voids the warranty, right? Sorry. You oh. bring out the best in me, Joe. <laughs> I bring out the best in you? Oh boy. Don't tell Aunt Becky. Got another dink, Ryan. I'm going to have to move. I'll tell ya. You can get these in Utah. Alright, that was a good hit. Just kind of a medium. Again, using that darter. The perch eye hanging off the bottom. Got one on the jigger trotter. Good boy. Just a dink, he released himself. That's a good one, Ryan. Oh, I finally got a good one. <laughs> Long time coming. Oh yeah. Long time coming. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, I was having a rough day. That was like a rough day. Oh man, that's got some weight to it. Wow. He engulfed that Lindy dude. Good boy. Yeah. Lindy's gone. Bye bye, Lindy. <laughs> Woo -wee. Well, we'll do some surgery and get that out of there. Nice. <laughs> yeah, good deal. There we go. Just a little dinks. Yeah. Better than a kick in the shins. 
says Grandma Shirley. Or a poke in the eye with a sharp stick, says my wife's dad. I don't know if I got that one or not. Yep, got one, Ryan. Thank you. Just a dank. Dink, dink, dink. Oh, well. There we go. It's been a slow dry spell. Oh, there's some at 10 feet, Ryan. There we go, the end we got him. <laughs> Woo! I don't know how big he is, but he's a lot bigger than the one I've been catching for the last 10 hours. <laughs> so, like I said, it's about dang time. <laughs> he wondered where you were. Oh, did he? He knew you were fishing somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's a good, pretty good guess, I'd well, that's say. That's another beautiful perch cascade lake ryan and i are both hooked up our buddies all just left for the day and we are hooked up you got a hog ryan yeah yeah mine's not bad he's not a hog finally got him on a jigger trotter today Ryan's using a diamond lure that I made last year for Cascade, and I think he's a happy customer. He's caught quite a few fish with it today. So it's Sunday morning, about 6 a.m. We're going to get on the ice a little early today and uh, hopefully get into them this morning. So here we are, Sunday morning, on the lake. Not a soul in sight, but they'll be coming. Looks like there's one coming down the lake right now. We're supposed to get some snow today. Hopefully that'll change the barometer a bit and wake the fish up. Oh yeah. He yeah, he hit it on the down. Nothing huge, I don't think. But he's nothing dinky either. He's not. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Sweet. So that's a good way to start Sunday. Not a bad fish for Cascade Lake. Pretty perch. Yeah, I got him. I think I got a dink. Yep, got a dink. Eating my uh, breakfast of champions. Frosted mini weights. You take two of them. Oh, here's the hat. Mm-hmm. Messing with another one. There he is. Okay, we got a double. <clears throat> Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Come on, stay on. Another dink. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's got some weight to him. Good deal. Yeah, the whole bottom was lit up. He's not got much fight to him. Hey, about 13, maybe. Another cascade perch. Standing tall. Touchdown. Yep, that is the most of my screen has been lit up this entire trip. Oh, nice pig. Yeah, you better catch one, Ryan. There's some pigs in that group. I got two, but they're both big. That explains why the whole bottom five feet on my zoom turned red. Oh my. Very nice. Wow. I guess I better get back down. Huh. 
Oh yeah. Just a dink. Nice, we'll take it. Got him on the uh Got him on the diamond lure from last year. Got that diamond lure again. Got some head shakes, but nothing major, I don't think. Nope, just a dink. Those dinks like the diamond. Little gold diggers. Cascade perch. They're beautiful fish. Ryan got this one next door. So, we have a habit of throwing fish at each other. And uh, this one made it to my feet. So, good times. In each hand. Oh, my man. Ryan just told me the bottom's lit up. Let's see if we can find one here. Come on, baby. So I think we're gonna wrap this trip up. Um, wind's kicked in pretty good. Uh, it's been a good trip. We've had some real slow, slow times, but when it was Good fishing, we got good fish, so it's been a quality trip. Another cascade trip in the bag. Had a good trip this year. Uh, got some snowy roads going home, but we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching.